What is the hardest guitar that you can shred on? An acoustic guitar? An eight string? Maybe a jazz guitar? No, because the hardest thing that you can shred on is actually the arrow guitar. <laughs> But why this is actually somehow beneficial for us guitar players, we will find out in today's video. Here we go! Hi Guitar Champion, I'm Justin Hombach, back from my practice cave and welcome to today's video. In January of this year, I was at the NAMM show in California. And on the last day of my trip, the company Aero Band invited me and some other gear, guitar YouTubers and some other people from that business to have a nice dinner. And after a delicious shrimp soup, some burger and some jambalaya, we discussed details over something that is called the Aero guitar. The Aero guitar is one of the most controversial instruments of the last year. It is designed as a guitar which on paper helps beginners to have an easier start on that instrument. Getting rid of finger pain that real strings can produce, letting the beginners play whole chords with only one finger on one fret and having a really cool app that can show the first chords and the first melodies etc etc. So far so good, but when Aeroband released the Aero guitar in 2023, it received a lot of bad critiques. I don't want to go too much into the detail of all the critiques, but there I highly recommend to check out the videos from my YouTube buddies 6 string guitar and HP42. Back to the dinner with Aeroband. We discussed certain flaws, certain critiques, but also some certain potential of this instrument. And there I have to say, Aeroband was extremely open to every suggestion, every critique and every idea that we brought to the table. And they also brought one of the Aero guitars with them and I had the chance to play it for the first time and it sounded like shit. Uh, uh, before that we have this guitar. <laughs> During the drive back home to my hotel, I thought, why did it sound so bad? And to clarify with sound, I don't necessarily mean the sound that the instrument produced. No, I'm really used to MIDI Guitar Pro-esque kind of sounds and I have absolutely no problem with that. With sound, I mean the sound that I produced with my fingers. The way how a certain speed picking and sweeping licks sounded after I played them on the aero guitar. <laughs> And I came to the conclusion that it was in fact not the fault of the instrument, it was my fault. This sparked an idea. I saw another huge potential of the aero guitar, which is more focused on us. You know, the shredders, the virtuosos, the ones who want to become better at their instrument. Because my work, my life, this channel, everything is dedicated to one goal. Becoming the best guitar player that we can be. And to be honest, the Aero guitar can help us with that. So let's turn on that thing and find out. You can split the Aero guitar into two pieces. So it's like the Enterprise D. and you can remove the neck from the body. This means that the neck itself does not produce any sound. The sound will only be produced when we press down a fret and then play the corresponding string. So the legato technique or hammer on some nowhere won't work on this instrument. And this leads in fact to one of the biggest technical issues and problems of guitar playing, hand synchronization. But having hand synchronization problems is often not the main issue. There are a lot of ways how we can fix this. A big part of the then of speed picking, my big online masterclass about speed picking and shredding and general is based around methods that will help to fix your hand synchronization problems. The main issue is often that we don't know that we have hand sync problems. When we are practicing or playing guitar, our perception is extremely limited. This is why I always recommend here on this channel to record 
record and film yourself as much as possible. And even that is most of the time not good enough. We actually don't even know what to look for. This is why the members of my Patreon and the owners of the Zen of Speed Picking have the opportunity to share videos of their playing with me so I can take a look over it and then I can recommend exercises, licks, etudes and whatnot that will help with their problem. And this is where the arrow guitar comes in. Because on this instrument you can hear immediately when your hand synchronization is off. When we don't have both movements in our left and in our right hand simultaneously, you will notice that, you will hear that. On other guitars, doesn't matter if acoustic guitar, electric guitar, jazz guitar, gypsy guitar, whatever, you can fake around that a little bit by doing hammer on and pull offs. Here on the arrow guitar, because of the way how this is designed, this won't work anymore. This thing is the best reality check on how clean your playing actually is. And reality checks are hard, they hurt, I know, but they are crucial for our journey of becoming a better guitar player. Now, let's talk for a minute about the big elephant in the room and the biggest critique that most of the guitar gear YouTubers out there had about the Aero guitar, which is a price. 459 US dollars. Is this reality check really worth 459 US dollars? I mean, an Ibanez RG421 costs around 240 euros or US dollars. The Zen of speed picking with video feedback involved is under 100 bucks and my Patreon membership starts with 5 bucks and the one with video feedback again is around 20 bucks. So I better let you decide if this is worth it. Another thing with that instrument, which for some people are a big critic point, but for me, it's actually a pretty cool and beneficial kind of thing is that you cannot really mute the strings. I mean, we have this magnetic bar on the bridge, but when we are touching with our palm or anything from our hand on that bar, every string got muted. So we not necessarily have the ability to mute individual strings. I mean, we can take that off. And then at least we can rest our palm here on the bridge while we're doing our speed picking action. But besides muting with the right hand, you cannot use the other tool which is mostly responsible for muting the strings, the left hand. And again on one side this is a huge issue because we cannot play chords like this one here, where we need our other fingers to mute certain strings. This chord will sound like this on the arrow guitar. Isn't that lovely? But on the other side, again, for our reality check, this is extremely beneficial. For example, with this lick here. This was a lick from my then of speed picking. I call this the Paul Gilbert lick, a lick that I've been playing for years now. And a lick where I thought I know how to play it and I know how to play it clean and correctly until I tried to play it on the aero guitar. The aero guitar proved me wrong because with the aero guitar this lick sounds like this. You may have noticed that the B string was ringing all the time. When I play this lick with a normal guitar usually my index finger is responsible for muting the B string but I do this by accident and not necessarily by choice because what's happening here is that my motion in my right hand when I go from the B string to that one note on the E string where I have to change the pick slant direction this motion is way too big way too huge and by that I accidentally hit with the tip of the pick the B string and there it produced this kind of noise and this kind of sound. I have never noticed this before, but this is awesome. I will immediately sit down and work on that issue. Oh, hell yeah. Something to practice, something to work on? Count me in, because I love practicing. I'm currently preparing for one of the biggest musical challenges in my life. I'm going to play a tour and some gigs with a band called Alkaloid. Their music is extreme, technical, progressive, death metal. So super virtuos, super complex and I have not much time to get prepared. And we also, because we're playing on a Bach festival, are going to play a full 20 minute Bach concerto where I have to play the lead voice. Hell yeah, that is a hard but a really cool challenge right now for me. Even though that it cost me like 8 hours of practicing every day and even a little bit more next week but more about this in my next video. So you better already hit the subscribe button to not miss the next video about my upcoming practice routine which is 
going to be mind-blowing. I use currently in that preparation also the aero guitar to check if all the speed picking licks are really there, that I really can play them clean and precise, or are there any little issues that with the help of the aero guitar I realized and then can work on on a real guitar. So for me, this is now a really useful tool, but I got this from Aero Guitar. After that dinner and after I've got that idea, I wrote Aero Guitar that I would like to experiment with it and I would like to check it out for especially these kind of issues. But again, would I spend nearly 460 bucks on this? I don't know. But as far as I know is that Aeroband is currently working on a new product, a new Aero Guitar, which is a little bit more streamlined to have a little bit more kind of a cheaper and better version. So I am curious what Aeroband is going to do in the future and is going to do with the Aero Guitar. So much for me. If you want to support me, then feel free to check out the Zen of Speed Picking and my Patreon. You will find the link in the description box. And of course, subscribe to this channel and check out my other videos. I have tons out there that will help you to become the best shredder that you can be. Alright, I'm going to see you in my next video. Cheers so far and power your progress.